see the moves. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's scary. Yeah. Speaking of music, before we get out of here, <laughs> your boy. That's our boy. Your boy. That's our boy. Over your, over your nah, hell no. Hell, that right. I will say. Mm-mm. So before we get. Drake dropped 100 gigs. It was 100 gigs of content. Three new songs. First, when I heard it, the It's Up record, I said, this is... I'm with you. About fucking time. Yeah. This is what we were waiting on. Fuck all that little yachty shit. Fuck all that other shit, man. Give us that real... Give us that drizzy pause. Man, I've been waiting. I'm I said, with you. I know this nigga not just gonna go out like this. And then I get down to the content. I'm like, this nigga. He came with it. The nigga gave you content from the beginning of his career up until now. In which I feel like everybody wanted to see Drake. Mm-hmm. This was the best move he could have possibly made. We got to see Take Care, Drake. We got to see So Far Gone, Drake. We got to see CLB, Drake. We got to see Nothing Was The Same, Drake. We got to see Drake. Then I started thinking, Damn, that was a good ass move. But was it enough? And I said to myself, Akil, mm-hmm. I said to myself, it ain't enough. It ain't enough. Why? Because it was still content in there that reminded me of what Kendrick said. <laughs> And then I started thinking again. Why would he? Desperation. I feel like he understood. He took the better route. And this was the best move he made. And it worked to a little bit. It worked a little bit. The problem was it was still content in there that it reminded me of. He a freaky ass nigga. Cause the album cover that was supposed to be CLB. Yeah, that shit. And you I was like, did that. why did you put it in there? Yeah, bro? man. That did not look good. You were, he was up until I seen I said, fuck, dog. Like you just He dropped too much content. Bro, come on. Leave that bitch at 20 gigs, not a hundred. Shitty, like Kendra said he does, he did. There was a snippet of him making, I forgot, I think it was Bill the host or some shit. He said it was about Serena Williams. Say it was a sneak this her. His mom was in there saying, Oh, I, I, I got it. Man. So you be people talking with your moms about the relationship you in, and you sneak this in a song. So it's that pattern is kind of like, okay. He's like, Bro, what are you doing, man? Yeah. But it was good. It, it was interesting. I'm a, so I, I'm gonna tell you the school I come from. I used to literally sit at home on YouTube and watch Lil Wayne in the studio. Like I used to sit hours just watching. I just wanna know what it was like to see Wayne in the studio. Jay-Z, Fade to Black is one of my favorite documentaries ever because we got to see the Black album be created. So it was dope to see Drake in his element. But I'm gonna keep it a band with you. Even watching the content, it felt a little. There was still some kind of unauthentic. It wasn't as authentic as I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if y'all watched any of it. I've, I've seen a few. But it's some a of force. it was like, it's not adding up. Like he lied about how he made Hotline Bling, saying it was after he slept with a shorty. Really I, I, th- I believe, huh? Oh well, yeah, you're right. Yeah, You're right. It, it, it was just a, a lot of stuff in there that I was looking at, like, damn. 
trade? Was this necessary? No, it was necessary. He needed to do something. Yeah. This made people look at him like, oh, he's human. He yeah. still got it. But for me, watching what I seen, it was just like, uh, some of this shit I understand, but some of this shit is like, you didn't have to do that. Like, you didn't have to put that there. I feel like it was a great move. The songs, that's what we need, Drake. That's yeah. what the fuck we need. All the other shit, man, fuck, leave Yachty alone. Get away from that nigga. Please. Get away. Like, even you saying, man, part in this dope album, I can't do it. I love, I want to hear it. This is what we want to hear. But also, I got another thing before I pass it over. Mm. Drake, this is what I need you to do. Hopefully, you'll listen. Maybe you won't, but who gives a fuck? But I know for a fact that this would kill. You know, you need to go on the OVO tour. Another tour? Ooh. Not now. Maybe next year. Maybe even the year after next. But you need to do an R&B OVO tour. You, party, Roy Woods, Division, you would kill. I would love, I would go to that. That'd be dope. I would go to that. I need to get that out of the way because I know you about to start, start your, your hate train. No, you know, you see, that's the thing. Do you think, do you think? I'm not gonna, first, I don't hate Drake. That's my disclaimer, I don't hate him. We don't believe you need more <laughs> people. But my thing is this, when I, okay. So I didn't know what the 100 gears was. I thought it was like a, a shitload of songs. I didn't know it was content and I'm clicking through shit. I'm like, okay, I see the three songs, is it more? I see pictures and videos and shit. I fuck with that itself song, tough. If he had that, in, if he had that energy throughout the entire beef, now we, you know what I'm saying, we talking. Kendrick would have still won, Where but. this nigga game, Drake? I'm get dog, that, it's up song, it's tough. Like, I fuck with it heavy. Yes. He was, I'm glad you didn't come in with that bullshit. No, 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 no. I would say, cause you had it's up and then you, what was the other two songs, blue, green, blue, green, red? Yeah. What was the, what was the third one? The one with, uh, uh it was, uh, that shit was hard. If you want to say three for three, three, that's three. That's I said, three this, for three. I was, yeah. Three for three. So no hate on my end. It's up is that song, and he, and you could tell when it, when he wrote it. That was him. That's that song right there. That's him. That I said. Okay, oh, he got some balls on there. I give it to him. And I don't want people to think that this was anything. Oh, he's coming back to Kendrick. Nah, there's no Kendrick Drake thing yet. He left that alone. 21, I know people want to talk about that line he had about the Tupac hit him. First of all, 21 don't want no problems with Kendrick. And they, they ain't got they, no they, Nah, that was confirmed that he wouldn't. He yeah, because yeah, that nigga would turn him into 10 and a half savage. Yeah, that <laughs> 21 would get cut in half. So we don't want, that That wasn't a thing. But I like it. Um, I didn't go through every goddamn kind. That's a whole lot. Yeah, it's I watched at least half of it. Yeah. But like you said, it did confirm what Kendrick was saying. It's like, yo, you, Kendrick was saying all this shit that you like type shit. Um, but I really, I really can't say too much. I don't have no, nothing bad. Like I don't, but as I said, I don't want to come in and say anything negative every time. Like he, I'm gonna give him credit when credit's due. Like that was, that was good. But I also feel like he was, A, taking shots at Kanye too. And then, because I don't know if y'all seen, but there was a studio session in there where he was doing yikes. Oh, I saw that. And then I feel like he was trying to prove a point of like, all right, y'all sitting here saying that I don't write my own shit. Well, here's footage of me writing my own shit. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I think he just, he was trying to bring people down to earth. And I think it worked. I, I feel majority-wise it worked. 